Hey, this is Kevin from Good Old Boys Fantasy Football Podcast. If you want more information like you're about ready to see, go ahead and hit like and subscribe to support this independent podcast. Tajay Spears, 5'10", 201 pounds out of Tulane. Um, Tajay was one of those guys coming out of the draft combine that really seemed to have some momentum behind him, right? He flashed well um, at the Senior Bowl. He performed fairly well at the combine. And the problem is... The past couple weeks since the combine, you haven't heard his name as much, right? So, so you're wondering if teams aren't talking about him because they're hoping if no one's talking about him, they can snatch him when they want him, or if, or if they just kind of fell, if he fell out of grace for one reason or another, they found a new shiny toy. But regardless of, um, great, great hands might be. If he's not the best natural pass catcher in this class, he's right up there at the top. Um, runs a very good route tree for running back. Can fill in at that slot receiver position in in certain formations. Um, does a good job. He has quick feet. Does a good job falling forward. Um, but with his size in the NFL, he is not going to be running between the tackles a whole heck of a lot to start with. Um, does have the ability to cut back and and has the vision to hit some of those cutback lanes but a lot of his runs might be more outside runs trying to hit the edge and go or passing game wise so um it'll be interesting to see how nfl teams decide to use him uh blocking he will be used as a chip blocker but really nothing else does not have the frame or the skill set at the moment to truly stand up to blitzing linebackers or defensive backs so it's going to be a lot of cut blocking uh Cut blocking for him. Um, another thing they need to work on is his pad level, right? Even with his size at 5'10", he runs he runs a little bit too upright. His pads remain too high. So he needs to almost make himself smaller so that way he can disappear behind the offensive line a little bit and kind of squeak out some of those yards. Um, but he is a patient runner, and he will find success in the NFL – starting out is probably a secondary back in a lot of situations. Um, I think he's for an NFL comp. I think he's kind of a mix between the receiving ability of a Deandre Swift, but I think he has the unknown allure of a Le'Veon Bell because of his patient running style, his ability to kind of cut back and find that hole and then fall forward. Um, obviously Le'Veon Bell is a fantasy you know, Hall of Famer, right? Just for everything that he did with his time in Pittsburgh. Um, so if he can come near that, the, some team is going to be extremely happy with that situation. But overall, I think he's going to be drafted. He might be the tail end of day two is kind of what I'm thinking. Third round pick. I could see him falling to the fourth just because he is more of a uh, receiving threat predominantly to start with in the NFL and, and teams – may kind of knock him down the ladder for that and use him or use those first three rounds as immediate starters in positions of need. And and Tajay has the feel of more of a depth and gadget type player here to at least start his NFL career.